Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get custom PS1 bubbles over on your PS Vita, and these have manuals and really cool looking icons as well. So if you guys want to follow along and install this, we first want to go ahead and open up Vita Shell. You also must have Adrenaline installed. If you do not have this with a PlayStation 1 game on it, um, then you can't follow along. Um, get it? I do have videos for this on my channel, and um, I have videos for adding PlayStation 1 games to it as well. But I have already got my PlayStation 1 game. I have got two extreme. So let's just go and open up Vita Shell right now. Also keep in mind that this does not work on every single PlayStation 1 game, um, just 209 of them, but you can find out which one this does work on. So let's just go ahead and press select. Let's go and connect our PS Vita to our PC and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I will leave all of the links in the description of this video. The first link will be the Wololo article, and um, this is basically a guide, it tells you how to install it. So you can see what they look like, and um, this is pretty much what they look like. So as you can see, you can start up the game, you can look at the instructions and stuff. It's actually really cool, they've got a really nice theme to them. They also have a really nice icon, um, there's a picture of the icons right here. I think they look really, really cool. Um, but if you guys want to go along and follow the guide on how to install this, you can pretty much follow along, um, but I will be showing you how to do it anyway. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the second link in the description. This is the Adrenaline Bubble Booter. So you need to get a copy of this. Um, if you scroll down and just click on the 2018 version, so just click on download right here, and that will download the zip file that we need to get. So next, we need to go to the other link in the description. This is so we can get the Adrenaline Bubble Manager. Um, you don't actually need this, but it might come useful. So just click on the VPK file right here, and that will begin downloading. Now the next link, it's probably different for everyone. Well, it might be the same for you guys, but if you scroll down, um, basically read this bit. So if you are placing, um, so basically if your PSP games are installed on your UXO, you need to follow this link. If your PSP games are installed on your UMA0, you need to follow this link. I'm pretty sure for everyone they're going to be on the UXO, so I went ahead and followed this link. And we need to find our PlayStation 1 game in here. So this doesn't have every PlayStation 1 game on here yet, it just has a few of them. I just chose the top one because that was easier. So find your game on here, and when you find it, click on the zip file, right click and just select download. This is just going to download a copy of the zip file. So we should have all of these three files, the two zip files and the VPK file. So we need to go to our downloads folder and just find them. So here we go, we've got our zip file, zip file, and we've also got our VPK right here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need to go onto our PSP and we need to find where our game is. So if you click on view at the top, click on hidden items, we need to go to PSP MU, um, PSP, game. We need to find our PlayStation 1 game. Um, not, I can look at the date, so mine will be this one. So we need to double click. And once we're in the folder with all of the information in, we just want to click at the top here, right click and copy this. We want to copy kind of like the root, um, like the file location of the game. So now just go all the way back to our downloads folder. And um, what we can do from here is get the Adrenaline Bubble Booter, right click this and just select Extract here. This is just going to extract an EXE file. From here we need to double click on this. Um, what we have to do is where it says MSO, right click and paste. Then just where it says um, F and PSP MU, if you just go back and delete that and just put it to PSP game, um, it should then actually like refresh and we should actually be able to use this. So what we can do now, we can just try and click create. You don't need to change anything else. So we're just gonna click create. And now it lets us save a VPK. So you can give it a name if you want to. I'm just going to save this in my downloads folder, just like that. Save it, click on okay. And now we can just exit out of this. So you go. Now we've got this. Now we need to get a last VPK and that will be our game. So right click this folder and just select extract here. Now just right click and refresh and um, it will be inside of this folder. So let's just find it. We can just drag that out and put that in our downloads as well. And there you go guys, we've got the three VPK files that we need to put on the root of our PS Vita. So I'm going to right click and copy. Let's go onto our PS Vita. Um, let's just disable the hidden items. As you can see, I tested it out earlier. So I'm just going to place it and replace all the um, VPKs in the destination. And there you go, we've got the three VPK files that we need to install. Obviously you need adrenaline installed. You should have this if you're trying to play PS1 games. If you do not have have adrenaline i have videos on my channel but anyway that is literally it so let's go on to our ps vita let's install these vpk files and let's get this thing working okay so once we are back and we've got all of our vpks we can go to on, onto our uxo and i will show you guys which ones to install so the first one we want to install is the adrenaline bubble manager so go ahead press x on this and then x one more time and this one will start installing now once that one is done, we need to install the PSP MU001, so press X on this, and then press X again, and that will start installing as well. 
And then the last one is our UXO 2 Extreme. So keep in mind, remember if your PS1 games are on a UMAO, get the UMAO VPK. But I, as I said, mine's on my UXO. So I'm just going to press X and then X again um, to install this one. Okay, so once we have got these installed, what we can actually do is just close out of each shell and we will be able to find them on our home screen. So as you can see, here is the manager, here is the booter, and here is our game. So if we try and boot it up right now, we could possibly get an error. Um, it probably will do like, oh, okay, it looks like it's working first time. So if you try and boot it up and you get an error, um, what you actually have to do is just reboot your PlayStation Vita, turn it back on, and then the game will work. It's probably because I tested out earlier and I've already rebooted it, so... Um, obviously I haven't got the error and um, if you are getting lots and lots of errors you can also try and launch up the bubble booter and then reboot and then your game um, should hopefully work so yeah this is how you get it working um, if you want to close obviously the game just works like normal but if you want to close out of it what you actually do is just press the home button we can just go to exit PSP MU and press X and it will just close out so as you can see um, this is pretty much what it looks like. I really like the theme of these. They look really, really cool. And um, yeah, you can install these and get loads of them on your home screen. So as I said, if it isn't working, you can try and boot this up and, um, and then restart. And that should probably fix it as well. So yeah, there's a few ways, um, if you have got problems, there's a few ways to fix them. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.